Introducing the B. Your whole photo album in one box. At least that's what they promised to do. So step one, plug it in. Step two, install the Closing app. doors behind me, about to have some fun. You went down on my bed, you left as soon as we were done. Now I'm trying to be bad all behind. Cause I know what you were looking for. Oh, I see you now. Done with step one, I decided to move to step two, which is basically installing the app on my phone unfortunately my country wasn't supported as you can see so once i installed it it was simple enough it was just a few clicks and it started to back up at that and a few additional clicks and guess what you have all of your social media backing up on your device unfortunately as soon as I uploaded all of my pictures, I wasn't happy with the search engine. Of course, coming from Google's, I had high expectations. However, all of the words that I put in, it would not show anything. Even when I got the search word correct, it would show things that are definitely not related. Uh, as an example here, you'll see the ground. Two additional examples, I'm searching for a building here and look what shows up. I guess this is a building. However, I must say I'm quite impressed as a, just to view the pictures, it's fantastic. As you can see, you could do slideshows, you could do rail. You also get Camera, shutter speed, uh, exposure, all of this information, ISO. Moving on from the phone, once you install the app, as you can see, it backs it up automatically and everything is quite simple. I wasn't quite happy with this inner circle that they had. Um, however, I mean, I'm sure it's something that we can get used to. But people have to register for you to share f pictures with them. And that's always a hassle. Overall, I loved it because it organized my pictures in folders, which I found very neat. Of course, you can always create albums and organize some things manually. But hey, who's going to do that? It's almost 2020. It even has a photo editing software built in which you can change the, you could crop the picture and you could uh, put some filters on and then do some adjustments in saturation, brightness and contrast. Keep in mind it's no Lightroom and clarity. And then you could have your own bokeh effect uh, and add it. And then of course what happens is Oh, yeah, and of course you could add your own emojis. And then it will upload it to the server. So in conclusion, it's a wonderful device. One or two terabytes is plenty of space for you to back up all of your information. There's plenty though that I would have loved to have. For example, if there's a duplicate, I would have loved the device to tell me there is a duplicate and give me an option to delete one. It's missing a lot in facial recognition as well. In this day and age, your phone does facial recognition and so should this device. I would have also loved to see a feature where you delete your uh, backed up photos and videos to save space on your phone. As you saw, it's not so powerful in actually discovering the scenes as Google would or any other cloud computing uh, program. Overall, from a price point, this is a wonderful device. This is the best device on the market that you can get, at least to my knowledge. If you are uh, don't agree with me, of course, let me know in the comments and I'll review other devices at different price points. Again, something higher, something lower, um, to back up your information from your phone.
Don't forget, subscribe, comment, and like, and share with people. Hope you liked what I have to say.